Hi folks, I'm uh, Farmer Terry Jones, the fifth, fifth generation here at the Jones Family Farm. And uh, we've, ever since I was a child, and I'm 73 years old now, I was growing some pumpkins. And I took some time off from it for a few decades, and we had the opportunity to buy this beautiful place we now call Pumpkin Seed Hill. The alternative, the uh, folks that owned it were going to put 84 houses and two miles of streets here. So we have this beautiful, beautiful preserved farm and we are growing pumpkins and of course corn. And I do hope you enjoy the raccoons and ripe corn story that we'll now be reading. Well, it's great to be here reading all of you this beautiful September afternoon. The book is Raccoons and Ripe Corn by Jim Arnosky. And we're going to follow a mother raccoon and her children as they walk through fresh rows of corn, climb the tall stalks, and treat themselves to a wonderful evening meal at the farmer's expense. I might add. <laughs> it is autumn. Leaves from the trees near the edge of a farm sail over the cornfield. The silk at the top of the corn is turning brown. The corn is plump and ripe. Aye. At night, a mother raccoon and her almost grown kits sneak into the cornfield. The raccoons walk between the rows of corn. They climb the tall stalks and pull the ears down to the ground. They peel away the green husks that cover the yellow kernels. All night long, the raccoons feast on corn. They pull down more corn than they can eat. And at sunrise, the raccoons hurry back into the woods. Wind whistling through the trees sends autumn leaves sailing out over the ripe field of corn. So I am 73 years old, and all my life I've had a love-hate relationship with raccoons. They are incredibly cute, but if you're trying to grow sweet corn, uh, they can wreak havoc because they love to eat it which is fine, but they also tend to pull down more ears than they could possibly eat. So that's a frustration. And in the end, we try to accommodate them by just planting some extra corn. So we hope you've enjoyed the story, and uh, we'll think of our little friends, the raccoons. We'll see you at the farm. From all the farmers here at Jones Family Farms, thank you for listening to Storytime. We hope to see you visiting our farms and participating in bringing in the harvest. Our website is the best resource to answer questions regarding any of the seasons on our farm.